I'm now going to show you how to use an, another essential part of your toolkit, which are the crimps. Crimps are tiny, tiny little pieces of metal that hold all of your pieces together. Now this bracelet here has crimp covers on here to hide the crimps, the two little balls either side of the toggle clasp. But inside there are two little pieces of metal that are essential. And this can be the same technique whether you're making a bracelet or a necklace. It's just the length of the design. So here are your little crimps. These are little tubes of metal. Really, really important in your jewellery making journey. So how do you use them? First of all, put my glasses on. Um, first of all, you take your crimp, you feed that onto the end of your beading thread or whatever you happen to be using for your design. I'm going to take one half of the clasp and I shall show you some different clasps in a second and then I'm going to feed that back through my design just leaving a little loop. Now you need some movement, jewellery needs to move so don't put it too near the clasp, slightly away from that toggle clasp and just squeeze it tight with your flat nose pliers and that makes a little square. Now I'm going to do the other end before I cut that off only because sometimes you're so busy doing one end that the beads come off the other so just make sure that both ends are secure so I've popped on my my crimp I'm putting on the other half of my toggle clasp that has a little jump ring attached and I'll feed that back through the crimp and if you pull that tightly you'll see the crimp will go up towards the other end of the toggle clasp and it won't move you need to pull that back towards your work and gradually pull it through. Just do a little bit at a time until it's tight enough, but just giving a little bit of a give to your jewellery. Again, I haven't put it right close to the toggle clasp, just leaving a couple of millimetres away so it can move. Now I'm quite happy, both ends are secure, and I'm going to cut off the excess wire as close to the crimp as I possibly can. Now, the next thing I need to do is put something called a crimp cover over the top. I'm using my little box of findings, as we saw in the toolkit earlier. Perfect for keeping these all neat and tidy. And I'm going to take some crimping pliers. Now these are not essential, but they, they do make your work look more professional. And these are used like this. They have two different areas. They have um, at the top, you'll see there's a curve either side. And further down, it's like an M shape on one side and just a curve on the other. M shape is here and there's a curve opposite. There's an extra little bump there. And that is what we need to use first of all. So I'm going to take my crimping pliers and put them into the, the slot that has a little bump. If I squeeze that, I'll put that in, that's it. Squeeze it, it folds it slightly. If you can see that, there's a little indentation in it. There, see that fold? So when I now put it into the end of my crimping pliers, it folds it in half. That means that your crimp cover will cover that crimp completely. It will sink right inside so then I can push that closed and it looks like a bead. There you go. It also stops that scratchy, horrible little scratchy bit that sometimes you get at the back of the neck when you buy your jewellery. And obviously I'd repeat that on the other side. But that is how to make your bracelet. But here are some different clasps. You can use a hook if you like and a jump ring. You could use a toggle clasp, as we have just done, with a loop and a bar. Or perhaps you could use a bolt ring clasp. That has a ring and a clasp attached, one on one side and one on the other. Used in exactly the same way, as with a crimp and through the end of one and then through the other half of your clasp on the other. And that's how to make your necklaces and your beaded bracelets.